Yeah, it's the Ron Fez Show. I'm uh, Ron, there's Fez. Hiya, buddy. And a Fez fade out. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. Uh, finally. We're getting some cold weather around here, Fez, and Al Gore couldn't be more wrong. Oh, yeah. I actually had some flurries at my house today. How many did you eat? I did not. No, not McDonald's flurries. Oh, because I, I know you set a record with like 12 or something one day. Yeah, but someone had brought some free coupons <laughs> into the radio station. Speaking of which, where did you get that shirt that you're wearing now? Sixth grade? No. Why? Because i just never seen an adult wear I don't even know where the, an adult could get that. I'm not sure where I got this. It's Maybe like at the little, Gap. It's like a little green T-shirt with blue piping and something you expect to see a youngster wear. Well, I got all bundled up. I had like a sweater and a coat on top of that today. And then I get in here to the inferno, and I have to start peeling. Oh, this is regular, uh, regular temperature in here today, isn't it? I'm warm in here. Or I'll find out what stinks later. Something smells in this studio. It uh, smells like old milk or something. Uh, Brian, Brian, you're on Fez. Hey, Ronnie, I just wanted to congratulate Black Girl for keeping it indie today by starting to show off with a little-known band called The Stones. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I noticed that, too. I noticed the same exact thing. I'm just too exhausted to talk to him. Alex, you're on Fez. Man, I just wanted to uh, congratulate Earl on the... Mm originality that he brings to the show today. I mean, those guys are underground. Are they, have, are they just playing clubs, or can we get a record? I believe you can see them at a small, a small stadium near you. Uh, Greg, Greg, you're on the What up, buddies? Yeah. Just just had, wanted to ask Earl how many times you have to ask him to do something before he does it. I, the whole indie thing. Yeah, I understand. You know, the funny thing is, Earl, you're not even playing any of their new music. You would go back just as far as you possibly can. Well, it's vintage stones, though. It's some girls. It's the classic to 78 sound. Do you want to find yourself right now, uh, like with Dave on Friday, where it's Loser Leaves Town match? Dave is putting his belt up if the... Uh, if the listeners vote him out on Friday, he's gone. And I get, I've get i gotten emails from people going, is this a joke? I go, I'm not the one who made it up. Yeah. But if you make a statement on the air, like, oh, if this doesn't come through, I'll leave the show. Yeah, you'll be gone. Uh, join the list of castaways. There's plenty of them out there. Yesterday on the show, when Eastside Dave did his board gossip and it sucked a huge dick, he decided, oh. hey, what? Side gossip? <laughs> hey, also, Fez. Do you really need to work blue like that? I'm not comfortable with it. In describing what he did yesterday, I think yeah. it's the only appropriate way to do it. You know, even though we're on uh, XM, I dumped out. I did not <laughs> want people to hear you don't. use that language. <laughs> the dump button is even in here? It's got cobwebs on it. Yeah, I don't even know if we have one, do we? I don't think so. No. Because I know we're supposed to dump out like if someone calls up and gives a phone number. <laughs> oh, yeah. My friend Harry at 212... <laughs> Is there a dead cat in here, Earl? Try to find out. You know I'm not a guy who uh, has a weak stomach, but there's something <laughs> sick in this place. I don't smell it. Uh, Tony, Tony, you're on Ronnie Fez. Hello. Yeah. Hey, I just wanted to uh, get the name of that new band. I really like that sound. Yeah. I just wanted to find out what new band that was. Uh, they're called the Rolling Stones. A little band called the Rolling Stone. They gather no moss. Seems like the sarcastic caller hour, Earl. <laughs> I love it, though. <laughs> you know why? Because I want uh, you and uh, Dave to look at each other right now. Short time? Start to giggle and say, Ron can't get any help, and then hug each other and act like our little, tri <laughs> our little trick worked. I hope they do not start hugging over there. Ask Wiki if we can have nine more people, and seven <laughs> of them will be to watch over Earl and Dave till Friday. <laughs> Earl, are you up for the uh, vote out on Friday? You want to put your uh, title up? Leave it to the listeners? I would never leave anything to the listeners. They would toss me as... That I, if there was a noose, that I'd be around, my neck would be around it right now. Your neck is not going to go around the noose. What are we going to do? Hang a noose with a black man? What fucking earth tube world do you live in? That would be a switch. <laughs> uh, Tage, Tage, you're on the Ron Fez show. Hey, b -b boys. Hey, buddy. Uh, that's yeah. O&A's. We're the... Uh, oh, I'm sorry. We're the buddies. Hello, buddies. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. yeah. Hello, buddies. Bye-bye. I, I, I think what you're smelling is Eastside Sphere. 
I, I it smells like Saddam Hussein was left here next to James Brown. And something is just rank in this room. Uh, Dave, why are you sitting there? How can you fucking help me sitting in the other room behind Bronx Johnny? I'm noticing... I want you to get in here and find out where the stink is coming from. Now, the, uh, the, the, the whole thing about this, too, Fez, is that every time I see Dave now, his new thing is to hold a book and stand behind one of the phone guy. He's doing it over at Free FM, and he's uh, doing it over here. And um, it, I don't understand where he got this new position. What I th what I call it is the Radar O'Reilly uh, stage business. He's got a clipboard like Radar O'Reilly on MASH, and it just walks into a scene with it. I don't know if there's anything actually on the clipboard. You know what I think it is? I think he has a deformed hand. That's the big problem. <laughs> and he's hiding it behind his clipboard. Yeah. I think I located the smell. Yeah. I think it's actually around Fez. Um, Something over here? It seems very You're really not smelling this. No, I don't smell anything. <clears throat> it's like an old, like uh, somebody puked into a mm -hmm. dead dog and then left it in the sun for a couple of days. And it's right by, it's like hovering right over you or like under you. It's just, it's right there. It's, you're talking. I don't smell. Brown. There's nothing in the Do garbage me a favor, can. Dave, put your hand down his ass and see if he shit himself. <laughs> Because there's something terrible here. I may have to even... I never walked out on the show. I might have to do this out on the on the street. Check his feet. Okay. Do not check my shoes or my diapers. You really thing. don't smell this at all. No, I don't smell it. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's right by him. It's right by you, Fez. Yeah. It's, no, it's on him. Well, I, what? <laughs> it's on you. <laughs> Either I don't know if you sat in something or you're the cause, but it's it's the smell is on you. <laughs> I didn't step right, in anything. Just, okay, just open me up some windows, please. Okay. It's fucking disgusting work in here. Seriously. All right, uh, Ron and Fez show, 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ, 866-RON-ZERO-FEZ. Keith, you're on Ron and Fez. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm just uh, clean smelling Fez. Hey, you know what that smell is? What? It's Earl's laundry because he never leaves the studio. It might be Earl's playlist. Call uh -huh. Carter and ask him to teach you about independent uh, music. I asked you to do that yesterday, Earl. I understand that, and I'll, I'll definitely talk to Carter. I will definitely make that phone call. We will talk, and he will. Is this the tape from yesterday? Playing back? It might be a best of. Because I hear the same thing every day around here. Sean, you're on Ron Fez. Hey, you guys. Um, I'm going to be gone Friday. And I was wondering if absentee you know, voting, is it in now or can we start today or what? You know, I don't want to go through the whole absentee voting thing. Well, It'll be straight up after uh, Friday, right? Yeah. All right, well, I'll, I'll cancel my plans and I'll definitely be there to vote. All right, peace. Yeah, right. you do the absentee ba uh, balloting, then you got to get the soldiers' votes from Iraq and everything else. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm sorry, I'm not even a fucking weak stomach guy, but something is rank. Is it me? I'm not, I can't get over next to you. I mean, I know I had a problem today in the apartment. What was the problem? Well, they turned the water off in, uh, on Retard Island. They turned the water off. The whole island? Um, at least my building that I know of. They said emergency water repairs, and I had no water to shower with today or brush my teeth. That's what you smell like after one missed shower? I don't know. I don't smell it. Is it bad? There's something bad, and I'm not going to go over and start smelling you. That's disgusting. But uh, Dave did say it came around you. So you just wake up this morning, and there's no uh, there's no water. Yeah, there's no water. I called the doorman. They said it's off until 4.30 this afternoon. Why don't you take, um, I don't know the best way to say Puerto Rican uh, bath. What would you call that, I guess? Why don't you just take a makeshift thing with some... You know, deodorant and powder. Well, I, I mean, I tried. I just couldn't brush my might, teeth today. I don't know what it is. And I couldn't bathe. But on that island of uh, misfit chromosomes, a uh, retard must have, uh, you know, they must be redoing the tub so that retards can't get more than an inch of water in them. 
I might need you to run across the street to that hotel and just run a shower. <laughs> see, Earl, see if what they'll call them for a room. He's not going to use it, but we're just going to go in there and scrub them down. <laughs> I am not going to go pay for a hotel room just to use the shower. I don't smell it. I, I mean, don't know I... if it's you. I don't know if it's you, and I'm not going over there, but this fucking room is rank. It smells like uh, death. I mean, I feel all filmy and greasy from not getting my morning shower like I like. It smells like a mummy has shit itself. <laughs> like a very century-old shit stank. <laughs> Did you wear the same underwear? No. I mean, it's clean clothes. It's just that I didn't get a chance to bathe. God, man, I don't know if I can do this. It can't be that bad. I honestly don't know if I can do this. And by that, I mean live my life. It can't go on like this, Earl. This can't be the way my life turned out. And how bad is the odor in there? Is Forget the fucking odor. You, Dave, and Fez is stank. Fez, luckily you're, you're a fucking stinking genius. Because <laughs> if you weren't funny, I seriously, I would fucking leap. And I know I wouldn't die. I'd probably just get paralyzed and be stuck in a room with you guys talking to me f forever. I'd try to run some wet naps over me or something, but that's yeah. just going to be that lemony wet uh, I'll take the lemony wet smell. That that smell on top of my own. It's just terrible. See, I usually take a shower, too, when I get home in the evening, but last night I just skipped it and figured I'd just wait for the morning. All right, so now I'm in 48 hours deep. Yeah. So... It's it's actually like two showers that I miss because of the way you know, I bathe. Maybe it's not you. Maybe some smelly monkey fucked a corpse in here, and that's what I'm smelling. I wish. I wish it was a monkey fucking a corpse. Come on. But the, seriously. I'm not, what is the new thing, Lenny Bruce? What is this all about? I'm dirty, and I'm not too happy today. Yeah, well, it's like I'm doing a show with a fucking HBO special. I don't need to hear. I don't need this, Fez. God, that's hideous. I hope it's not you. It's like the Mean Line Massacre fucking took place in here. <clears throat> I just feel bad. You know, I don't feel like myself when I can't go in there and scrub, you know, all my uh, crevices and rolls. Get in that's there awful. deep underneath. Seriously. Oh, it's like one of those African death ditches took place where some kind of mass murder took place and then they're left in the African sun. Is that nice to say? <laughs> I smell like an overheated mass murder. An African mass murder. Uh, you know how they are. Well, they'll fucking line them up over there, Earl. Oh, yeah. Just piling them one on top of the other. Uh, yeah, and then try to do a fucking show with that. Try doing a show with a mass grave. <laughs> it's impossible. I can't go on like this. My life is... I gotta wake up and, and have a different life. I need to stockpile some water or something. I hope it's only today. Seriously, if I woke up from this fucking dream and I turned out that I was a Mexican dirt farmer having a nightmare, I'd be so ecstatic. <laughs> Bronx Johnny, don't give me the thumbs up every time I say something Latino. Between me and that fucking guy... Uh, that that bull rider that Johnny was so uh, proud of. <laughs> By the way, uh, Blowhard, of course, watched that bull rider on TV. Why wouldn't he? <laughs> and it took place during one of the football games. During one of the football <laughs> games, Blowhard said during the commercial, I switched over and watched the bull riding, right? He said he saw our guy. He won the thing. Of course. And uh, Rudy Giuliani showed up in a cowboy hat and chaps. How embarrassing. Yeah, he's, well, it's on purpose. Like, hey, hey, seeds, vote for me <laughs> and I'll wait. What the village people are going to look like uh, even later in the future. Oh, I hope that's not you, Fez. Well, I mean, I can't deny that it could be because I'm just, I'm waterless. I mean, I did the thing where I took a napkin to my teeth and tried to wipe them off that way. All you're doing is moving the dirt around. I tried to get the some of the film off of me. I just feel like a grease bucket. God, it's terrible. Well, how would you not know you stank when you got in here? <coughs> well, I didn't smell it. I'm not even getting used to it. Normally, <laughs> like, you could fucking do a show with a dead skunk, and sooner or later your nose will shut down. You know, you're making me self-conscious about it, and you're going to make me sweat more and be nervous thinking about it. 
Uh, Brian, Brian, you're on Fez. Hey, I thought you guys were bullshitting about that fainting goat thing, but yeah. uh, last night's episode of uh, Dirty Jobs, Mike Rowe goes to a goat farm and actually shows that the goats faint. It's like a genetic abnormality or something. Yeah, like you yell you at them and they doing. faint. Yeah, yell, excited, whatever, and they just drop, and it's hysterical to watch. But I would love to I, do... I you, guys would... uh, you know, remember how Jesse Owens, they had that uh, movie of him where he raced a uh, thoroughbred and uh, beat him? I would love to do something where it's man versus beast. We get Earl in here and a goat, and I yell at both of them and see who faints first. <laughs> uh, my money's going to be on Earl hitting the ground. His hooves will be straight up in the air first. Put the money on the goat. I, I, I definitely would beat a goat. And fainting? That's what you're fucking proud of? I'm not proud of it, but I definitely could beat a goat. You can faint faster than a goat? Can you can't even follow this conversation we're having now. I feel like I'm doing a show with a red tide. It just feels like all kinds of marine life has died up and on the beach. We put fucking headphones on it, give it a mic, and I'm trying to do a show with it. Well, I'm trying to do my best in here. I've got my legs crossed and my arms down. I feel like uh, you got wheels on that uh, on that chair. Yeah. All right, Dave, push him through a car wash. Just run him through as fast as you can. That could kill me. You don't want him to give you extra money. Go through it twice. Oh, man. Did your appendix burst? I don't... Something fucking stinks. I don't think so. I just didn't get to do my morning routine. None of it. I didn't have water to flush with. You get one flush when the water goes off. Whatever was left in the tank. Well, nothing of yours is going to go down with one flush, that's for sure. It never has. I don't want you to brush your teeth with cancer? No, a napkin. Why would I use cancer? I'm not going to, like, put toothpaste on a tumor. It does smell like a tumor's opened up. <clears throat> well, there's nothing we can do about it. it. Smells like 4th of July at Earl's house. That's a sweaty holiday. Everyone is. <laughs> Let's face it. A blizzard over that place stinks. <laughs> uh, hey, it's Big A. Big A. Big A. Big A. Oh, no. Hi, uh, hi, Ronnie. Hey, hey big guy. Um, the reason why I called is I wanted to personally thank um, Hard Rock Johnny for giving me the free meal, uh, free lunch uh, yesterday. Oh, that's very cool. So uh, you did head down the, to the Hard Rock and he took care of you for lunch. You showed up down there? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I tried to say um, it was happy to see me. I'm sure he was. He never even met you before. Who doesn't like Big A? Big A. I'm not real thrilled with him. Big A, what did you eat for lunch? Uh, I had buffalo chicken wings and a 10-ounce burger. Way to break the bank on the guy. What? <laughs> he just got burger in his side. He got two entrees. Hard Rock invited him to lunch, and he went and ate two entrees. Are you telling me wings are on the side? No. Is meat ever a side? And I'll have a side <laughs> of meat. Did you walk out with any of the guitars? Uh, no. No, Fez. No. Oh, oh, got you good. <laughs> yeah, I feel gotten. <laughs> All right, Big A, I'm glad to hear you had a nice lunch over at Hard Rock Johnny's. I bet he'd love to see you again today. Uh, actually, uh, actually, I'm working. I can't. Yeah, I would have liked to see the look on his face when you showed up for that free lunch. You're really <laughs> here, here in my restaurant, where um, uh, I work. Can't believe it. You're here. You know what, Fezzy? You would be winning this if you didn't stink like a fucking month old cheese. <laughs> All right, Big A. Talk to you later, buddy. Uh, I take care of. Uh, I also want to uh, uh, thank uh, uh, Tony. Um, I, I get to his dot com. Uh, uh, she made me uh, dessert. Uh, uh, no, a mod. Oh, you're a mod uh, now. Yes. Now you're a mod. Well, what, what are you a mod for? Uh, get to his. Get to his. Get to his dot com. Classy. Yeah. All right, I'll be checking that out, Big A. Um, 
Uh, thanks for uh, uh, You want to uh, thank your uh, local uh, Chrysler uh, dealer? <laughs> Did you get a car out of this deal at all? Uh, not yet, Fezzy, but thanks a lot. Fezzy, <laughs> slow down. Every time you get angry, the stunt kicks up. <laughs> oh, all right, talk to you later, Big A. All right, take care, guys. God, everybody loves Big A. Big A. Big A. Big A. He showed up at the Hard Rock to get a free meal. Yeah, but the place was packed for him. It's the same as like when Britney went out to that Vegas club. <laughs> he should be getting money. Uh, Johnny got uh, away with this like it was nothing. For basically a burger and a side. It wasn't a side. It was two entrees. Well, basically, a lot of times, chicken wing could be considered a potato. No, they're a meat. They are? Yes. Remember they had chicken fries out one time? <laughs> one of those places tried it? I think it was KFC tried chicken fries. And again, I think that was an entree. Oh, I can't work in here. The stink is so bad. Try not to concentrate on it so much. It smells like slave quarters. I didn't say black slaves, Earl. It could be ancient fucking Roman slaves, which also turned out to be black. But they got, you know. Boy, talk about wrong place at the wrong time all the time. Earth. <laughs> <laughs> Can't turn a corner without getting turned into a slave. Oh, no, Earl. You built the pyramids. Last thing you want is the doorbell to ring. It's because it's <laughs> someone here to enslave you. God, you stink. I'd be <laughs> I'm saying it. I can't help it. I might... That might be the show for me. I might have to walk out. <laughs> Don't... We're only a half hour into it. you got to be kidding me. No. I can't take this. And I haven't puked yet. All right, uh, now Hard Rock wants to call to say he wants to thank Big A. Hey, Hard Rock. <laughs> yeah, I want to thank Big A. But it's weird. I, I tried you on speakerphone, and, and in my office started to smell. You, I was getting the smell over the I know. Oh, yeah. be quiet, Hard Rock Johnny. It was great having Big A here yesterday. I wish sure. you would come back more often. Yeah, yeah he's rid of the leftovers. <laughs> <laughs> he had an appetizer and an entree, well, and he didn't get dessert because he forgot that dessert's always part of the meal. See that, Fuzzy? <laughs> And it's uh, good for Johnny, because it's the type of thing that'll make page six. <laughs> I did. I called in. I called Russian Malloy. You know, the guy had a big A sighting. It wouldn't make page 30. Come they on. Said, they said, big A. A big A. How come everybody loves big A but you? I don't see the attraction. You know what? You wanted to be a mod on Get the Hiv. <laughs> Ronnie, he said that you are, he told me, it took a while for him to get out, but he said you are a comic genius. Oh, that's very nice he said, to hear. I call Ronnie a comic genius. Well, that's very nice. He said he doesn't have any kind of name for Fez that he want to repeat <laughs> in a public restaurant, but he did say you were a comic genius, and he said he loves you guys because you build him up and you make him feel good about him. Well, he should feel good about himself. He's the fucking coolest, Daddy O. He is. He's Big A. Big A. How did he get all that out in between orders? <laughs> Took a while, but he did end my whole. He had an appetizer and an entree. Two entrees. He had chicken wings and a burger. Big Hard Rock burger. He did get the ten ounce burger, by the way. Of course he did. <laughs> and he had a couple of beers. Yeah. <laughs> but you know he's he's good. He's big A. He's cool. He is Britney Spears, all drunked up in your place. I love the confidence. I'm going to show up for my free meal. <laughs> the guy brought it up on the air. Now I'm going to swing by and pick it up. I'm surprised you didn't get other people just saying they were Big A. Yeah. Well, I've met a, I've met Big A before. Sure. Everybody loves Big A. Everybody loves Big A. I, I, get one of those I don't. Uh, Frenchie wants to talk about Big A. Hey, Frenchie. Hi, guys. Hey, darling. Hi. Um, me and Big A and Mafia Life Chris went to Hard Rock. Um, yeah. I believe it was in November or October. And none of your waiters or waitresses or hostess would get Johnny for us. They all just kept blowing us off and said, oh, we'll get him, we'll get him. We had a whole meal there, and nobody would get Johnny just for us to say hi to him. And He's the big the wheel right now. i got news for you. Oh, Frenchie's on the line. Complaint department. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? What does she ever complain about? Now, now, why would Mafia a Life Chris go to the Hard Rock Cafe? It's not a segregated restaurant. <laughs> he calls the show here yesterday, dropping the end bomb. You know what? <laughs> Fezzi, I had a nice note from him last night. He's a very nice uh, young man. He just got carried away, that's all. I thought he was inviting you to a lynching or something. I don't want to turn this into another Kramer situation. <laughs> he just got a little carried away. 
All right, Frenchie wants to see you more, Johnny. Frenchie, anytime you come out, just ask for me. They'll, they'll, they'll you know, hopefully you bring Big A again. Yeah. Yeah, we were running and asking. They just kept saying, oh, yeah, we'll get him. He's back there. Nobody would get him for me. I said, I just want to say hi. I just want to say hi. He knows who I am. And they just kept blowing me off the entire time. While they were doing their job. Why is it always a complaint when Frenchie calls? Because I never heard her complain before. Me. Security hit me. I can't get the waiter to get the manager. <laughs> Something's always going on. Sophie, I never complain about you. Hey, uh, Frenchie, I got a, uh email from Crazy Claire yesterday. Did you? Yeah. How, how is she? Uh, holding on. She's yeah. keeping it all together, yeah. Yeah, I've, I got a little snippets of her every, every once in a while of how she's doing. All right, French. All right, I love you guys. Uh... Oh, hold on, French. Uh, I'm going to take one uh, one more call. Okay. Uh, a guy says he has a problem with you. It's Dennis. Do you know him? Dennis? Yeah. All right, hold on. I'll say. Dennis, real quick, what do you got? Buddies. Yeah, yeah. listen, is, uh, is Frenchie gone? Because no. uh, she invited a bunch of people to get on Pal Talk last night during her free FM show. Yeah. Me and a friend of mine both jump on there, and we both got uh, kicked off immediately without saying word one and just blocked. Oh, I will take care of that. I, mean, that I was, was actually sure driving. I wasn't in the room. I was driving. I was just plugging Pow Talk for them. Yeah. No, I, and, I didn't mean it was uh, you. Normally I'm in there. You probably had a black name, and I'll take care of it. If you just PM me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm... Did you say a black name? Yeah. Yeah. That's her man. Name. Yeah, don't black go in there as Tyrone goat. or Leroy. <laughs> or Fanny Goat. Black name means you didn't pay for it. So, okay, nice. I'll take there care of it. Just PM me. I'll take, I'll take right. care of you. Okay, Dennis, you, you got what you need. Thanks, okay. French. Bye, -bye. bye guys. Bye, All right. Save bye Frenchie. Save Dave. Bye bye. Save Dave. Oh, please, what? I hope not. Why does a black name mean he didn't pay for it? I don't know. That's well, because they assume. Mommy like Chris is behind all this. That racist. <laughs> Why are you calling him a racist? He's the one who uses the N word on this show. Um, brother, I've never been to your house before, I never met your family. <laughs> I'll fucking tell stories forever. Don't. The guy had a faux pas, a little slip, slip of the tongue. Do you think that word ever slips out? Yeah, I think it could. I think it could. I think it was premeditated. I can't wait to get on there and start using it. I'll sit around and tell Watley stories. <laughs> don't. From now to the to the cows come in. Please don't. <clears throat> and uh, those cows would actually smell better like... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Rude. All right, thanks, uh, Johnny. All right, boys. All right, take See care. Uh, Bo, Bo, what do you got for us, pal? Hiya, buddy. Yeah. Uh, I've been told my whole life there's no such thing as a free lunch, and then Big A calls in. Oh, and there is. Oh. There, there is a free lunch for the cool, for the cool people. They get everything. Uh, don't confuse yourself, Bobo. Uh, there wasn't a free lunch yesterday. There was free lunches <laughs> with multiple entrees. He got an entree and a side. What are you fucking counting calories over there? <laughs> he got a gi the ten ounce giant Hard Rock burger and, and the large order of wings. I'm starving, but I know I wouldn't be able to keep the food down. And those wing you got an order of those wings there. That's for the table. That's the you know not like you. Why are you worried? What has it fucking got to do with you? Because he goes down there and he takes advantage because everyone thinks he's so cool. He was invited. He showed up. He had a couple of beers, a case of beer, uh, some uh, burgers, and some uh, wings. What's the big deal? I'm trying to bankrupt the place. Let me tell you right now. If I had my own restaurant, and I'd give out free meals to Henry Winkler. Yes, he's a celebrity. Well, Big A is in his own way. Not in my world. I love that nickname that he has for me, too. Comedic genius. That's a good nickname. Nice. All right, thanks, Bo. Hey, one quick question. Yeah. Uh, th that smell around Fez, did he happen to fall asleep right before the show started? All right, Bobo. <clears throat> I'm going to email Ron tonight and say that Bobo has hurt my feelings. Uh-oh. All right, talk to you later, Bo. Okay, love you. Bye. Fez, put that painting down. Put the painting down. No, he's got so many things to say. Don't. Don't you do it. He's got things to say. Don't you do it. Well, I wonder what he has to say about something like this. Have no. this got hurt? No, don't. That's a beautiful painting. Um, hey, it's Radio Shark. Hey, don't Shark. Hey, how are you? Good. Now we know there's another reason why Fatty's father would turn the hose on him. And I bet it wasn't just for sand. Does That's... it smell like a Woodstock Porter John in there? It really does smell like the third day of Woodstock in well, the shithouse. Well, 
Boy, Radio Shark, he loves to deflect the fact that he was the one putting off stink bombs at different Ron and Fez events. Was he? Yes, he totally was. He got caught doing it by Eastside Dave. 